There's nothing easy about going on the road and trying to get a win in Knoxville. The Wildcats have 32 years of experience to back that up. Kentucky attempting to break a losing streak at Tennessee the date back to 1984. Early on, the Wildcats had their offense going on Kentucky's first play from scrimmage. Steven Johnson calls his own number, racing 75 yards, eventually taken down at the 10 yard line. On the very next play, Johnson hands it off to Boom Williams. He weaves his way untouched for six. Kentucky on the board first, seven to nothing. Later in the first, now 10 to seven Kentucky. And the Vols take their first lead on a one yard touchdown run by Josh Dobbs. It was 14 to 10 volunteers. The Wildcats had a chance to retake the lead on third and goal from the one yard line, but Benny Snell is tripped up by his own player in the backfield. Huge missed opportunity. The Wildcats would settle for a field goal. Well, the balls were trading field goals for touchdowns. Dobbs to Ethan Wolf to extend the Tennessee lead to 21 to 13, and that was the score at the half. We go to the third quarter now, 28 to 16. Another costly mistake inside the red zone. Snell putting the ball on the turf, a fumble, and Tennessee would recover. Four trips inside the red zone without a touchdown for the Wildcats. The balls drove the field, capped off by an Alvin Kamara 17-yard touchdown run to extend the lead to 19. You have to give it to the Kentucky offense. They kept battling. JoJo Kemp back from injury after missing two games and rumbling for a 71-yard touchdown. That brought the Cats within 13 after the failed two-point conversion. But once again, Tennessee had the answer. Dobbs knifes his way through the Kentucky defense for a 45-yard score, and that put the game out of reach for the Wildcats. Final score, 49-36. to The Wildcats rushed for 443 yards in the loss, becoming the first FBS school this season to rush for more than 400 yards in a loss. Here's Rob Bromley. Big day here in Knoxville for the Kentucky offense. 443 yards on the ground, the most since 1951. But the Cats had no answer for Tennessee quarterback Joshua Dobbs. He takes the field for the fourth time against Kentucky and beats the Cats. He's a very good football player. He's very talented, and uh, he's a big guy that's very elusive. He's uh, deceptive. You know, he has great speed, but he has very good balance. And uh, toughness, and uh, I'm glad we don't have to see him anymore. He's a senior, right? Get him out of here. Yeah. He's like a tight end playing quarterback, man. He was. It's hard to get him down, and when 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 he when, when he get in the zone, it's it's basically it can't stop. Him. You know, they got a great leader at the quarterback position, and they got a good backfield. You know, I give a lot of respect to them boys. But I uh, mean, I feel like we left a lot on the field, and I feel like it's a lot that we gotta do to get better for next week. So the Cats are still looking to be bowl eligible, but they will be a big favorite next Saturday when they return home trying to get win number six against Austin P. In Knoxville, Rob Bromley, WDKYT.